Hey guys, thanks for tuning on in. This is Vlogmas. This is video number five. I have a super exciting treat for you guys. But first, let's get things out of the way. If you're new, hi, I'm Ansley. This is That's Really Pretty, where we discuss all things beauty and makeup and life and blogging and fashion and all that good stuff. Um, so thank you for tuning on in for today's video. If you're not new, hey, what's up, what's good? Thank you for coming on back. Look what I have for you guys. I am so excited to talk about this palette. Uh, this has been a crazy whirlwind getting a hold of it. Emotions have been all over the place. I've got swatches for you guys. I'm so ready to do a look. Let's go ahead and jump on in. So I have the Too Faced, I'm like, what is the name of this? It is a chocolate gold palette. First of all, this packaging is amazing. Um, super nice, high quality packaging. So anywho, I have the palette. They had it in my local Ulta on December 1st. And let's just talk about Too Faced as a brand for a second. Their products are hit or miss. They launch stuff all the time. Sometimes they shouldn't. Sometimes they need to take it back to the lab and just work on it a little bit more. Sometimes their packaging is horrible. But recently, their new trend has been, has been creating... Uh, oh, look at that. It changes the exposure. I'm going to put this down. Recently, their trend has been creating scarcity of products. So this launch, not great. Kind of sloppy. So it debuted on their website, I wanna say like November 30th, if I'm correct. Um, and then they did a launch in Ulta first and then a launch in um, Sephora. I don't know if the Ulta.com and in-store launch are on the same day, but I heard people saying it was supposed to be launched on December 3rd. I got mine on December 1st in store. So they had the loudest buzzer on this thing in my Ulta. <laughs> I picked it up and it immediately started making this, she's stealing, she's stealing, she's stealing, beeping noise. And it, I felt so self-conscious. I just wanted to run out of the store with palette in hand for just fear of stealing and then accidentally actually steal it. So I was like very embarrassed. They had just freshly put them out I swatched them um this is the first palette that I've looked at and immediately was like oh I know how I'm using this I'm gonna take it home and I know exactly how I'm using it and Too Faced is not one of my favorite brands I don't actually like too many of their products I am still new to the brand overall but their palettes have been very missed for me so I saw this and I was like smoky eyes that's what I'm doing shimmery smoky eyes with a pop of color on the mobile lid can I get an amen? Like, that's what I saw when I saw this palette. So, and I rarely have moments of clarity when I buy makeup. I just buy it to buy it. So I saw this and I saw that black and then I saw the rest of the palette and I was like, ooh, oh man, I think I must have this. Um, so I am super hyped about this palette. As someone that has no ties to Too Faced, I'm really excited. Um, I do have swatches for you guys. It's supposed to be released on Ulta's, I'm sorry, on Sephora's website on November 11th, I believe, but people are already picking it up in store. So yeah, Too Faced is playing games with creating false scarcity around their stuff. It's getting old. I wish they wouldn't do it, but in any case, here we are. So check your local Ulta, check your local Sephora. I will say the online like in-store Sephora tracker thing that they have is not always accurate. So if you don't want to necessarily waste the time to go down there, pick up your local pick up your local store, pick up the phone and call your local store and see if they have it. So let's get into swatches. I would say overall, these shadows are really, really rough. They just are. And you kind of have to dig into them to get the pigmentation. So I love Seeking Alexandria. She is another YouTuber here on this platform. I will link her video down below. I told her I was going to link her video down below. Um, so you guys can see her video. She does the most in-depth awesome product reviews and she has a really great personality um she's what i aspire to be in terms of a product reviewer when it comes to makeup so she definitely has very in-depth thoughts and a demo on this palette i don't want to steal all of her points because that's bad but i do have a few similar points to make with this palette so and just based on swatching them i i can definitely see where she's coming from so this palette in terms of layout it makes sense which i really like that's why it was so easy for me to look at it and be like hmm, i know how i'm gonna use it you definitely have some unique shades like this pink stands out this gold stands out these two similar greens stand out i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the swatches um and they all have names too so this is money bags this is love and coco sorry this is love and coco holla for a dollar gold bar old money 
gold dipped, new money, <laughs> live in lavish, rich girl, famous, Dripping Diamonds, which really surprised me. I like this. I like this and a uh, holla for a dollar. And then this next one is Chocolate Truffle. Beautiful transition shade. Uh, classy and Sassy, also very surprising. Rolling in Dough, Chalky White on me, not surprising. Decadent, it looks like it's gonna be a solid black, but I kind of swatched it poorly. And then So Bougie. So, So Bougie, that name really gets under my skin. I hate when people take the word bougie because it typically has a presence within the black community and they co-opt it to make money. It's obnoxious, so I wish they didn't call it that. But these are pretty scratchy overall. I think Drippin' Diamonds was the only one that wasn't super scratchy. And there are out of three, six, nine, twelve. 13, 14, 15 shades. Um, only four of them are matte. So it is mostly a kind of, uh, I don't even know what to call this. They're almost metallic-y, I would say. Um, they swatch beautifully. And um, seeking Alexandria's video, she does talk about you do need to either wet your brush or use sort of, or use some sort of a glitter primer to really get the color to pop. That's why I had to kind of dig into the shadow. Like I went back and forth a few times. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can definitely, I don't mean to like cough on you all my videos, and you can definitely see that with this shade, how it kind of fades out and similar with this shade. These two are chalky. I do think I can get away with using this, um, but Today's video is, in any case, going to be a smoky eye, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to wear it to work. I've got this brown skirt on. So I would also say check out her video too, because we're going to do two very, I feel like I'm collabing with her and she doesn't know it yet. Um, <laughs> we're doing two very different looks. So I am wearing something, of course, that I can wear to work. That's my whole thing on my channel. Uh, check out Instagram for more of my like fun nighttime looks when I don't have to worry about work. So I am going to do a look with that in mind. I'm gonna try and use colors that she didn't use. Probably gonna dip into this purple because I have, I wanna wear the pink y'all. I wanna wear new money, but I have a meeting. <laughs> so I don't think I can today, but I will be featuring this a lot on my uh, Instagram. So let's go ahead and jump on in. I am gonna start with So Bougie and coconut truffle um probably as transition shades go into decadent that black for the overall smoky effect and then pop live in oh she used purple though i'm gonna use hollow for a oh, she used that too i'm gonna use money bags i'm gonna use this green shade all over my eye um and she did point out this i like I also think it's kind of nice. You get most of chocolate gold and the rolling in dough. So you get like a nice big transition shade. And then this gold, you get two pans of, which is kind of nice. So kudos to them. So yeah, I'm going to use money bags on my eyes today. This nice pop of green. So I'll speed through me doing my eyes and then I'll be right back. guys so this is the final look i feel like i've got money on my face like this green it reminds me of dollar bills and this silver reminds me of like nickels and dimes and quarters so i love this look i haven't worn something like this to work yet but it definitely goes with my outfit i really like it um so yeah i'm gonna hold up my swatches again just so you can oh just so you can see kind of what you swatch is what you get if big if if you make sure that you wet your brush uh, beforehand. Because if you don't, the shadows don't really show up. So that is my pro tip for you guys. Make sure you use either that glitter primer or wet your brush when you apply the shadows and your look should come out like this. So let me know in the comments if you guys plan on picking this up, if you've been able to get it, if you've been having a hard time getting it. 
all that good stuff. Happy Vlogmas. Like I said, this is video number five. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment any questions you have down below. Check out my Instagram as I use this palette more. Um, I'll be featuring it over there as well as subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, this is my, for my new subscriber, this is my take on like a nice work but yet at night glam smoky eye thing um, I was chatting with her this morning and I told her I would put up a video so hopefully this suffices for video number one attempt number one but definitely check out the Instagram where I try to do more nightly looks and I'll be doing those more frequently moving forward since you guys seem to like those all right guys take care have a great rest of the day I will see you guys shortly and until next time bye